so before start a discussion on the today's topic i would like to tell you please subscribe my channel so you can see on this channel up till now i have covered the project on Ra arduino project on the raspberry pi project on the python programming python programming web application and all the project details i have covered from very basics to advanced so if you want to learn the raspberry pi arduino python web application designing from me please subscribe my channel all the projects are free and i will not take any single rupees pro from you for that projects only point is you have to watch the complete video and try to execute all the project at your end from today onwards i will add the new playlist that is the peak controller peak my controller application designing so in this playlist also we will try to cover more than 50 topics so if you want to learn the embed system again from me then please subscribe my channel please support me hello friend in today's session we will learn how we can connect a switch with the peak my controller so this is the simulation part of the peak my controller with the switch and led so before start this next part i would like to tell you what will be the flow of this project so basically you can see there is a switch there is a led and there is a peak my controller so when i start the project then after i press the switch then led will turn on after i release the switch then led will turn off so this is the simple project that we that we learn today so this is the simple project that we will learn today in this video i will try to cover all the circuit diagram design like how to connect switch with the peak and led with the peak also then also we will see the importance of each and every line from the code so this is the code so we will see importance of each and every line from the code so i request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project now first we will see the practical demonstration of this project so you can see once i run the project so you can see once i run the project then led will turn off and once i press the switch you can see this is the switch and when i press the cursor and click mouse here so once i press the switch then led will turn on once i remove the switch that is un unpress the switch then led will turn off so this led will turn off turn on turn off will be based on the switch movement so this is the part we will see in this current video now we now after that we will see the how to connect this hardware with the peak my controller now we will see how to connect this hardware with the peak controller so first i will delete this switch part so why i have deleted this switch part because the connection of peak my controller with the L, the connection of the peak my controller with the led that i already explained in my previous video the video name is this one protein simulation of led blink project by using peak my controller so this video link i will give in the give i will give in the description so please watch that video and from that video you can try to connect led with peak my controller now we will see how to connect the switch part that is here so if you want to connect the switch just go to the component mode then click on p and type here button so once you type button you will find this active button push button just click ok and press uh, place button here then after the after that right click on this button and rotate clockwise so after that you require the power supply here so just go to the terminal mode here then click on the power then once you click on the power just place the power here so once you place the power just connect that power with the switch pin you can see this one like this then after that the switch second pin you can see this is the switch second pin you have to connect with the register so you will find register again go to a component mode then click on p and type here register so once you type register you can see that this analog register click on ok and place that register here then right click on register rotate anti-clockwise then after that place that register like this double click on this register and give your value as a 1 kilo ohm then after that connect one point of register to here like here and another point of register should be connected to the ground so go to the component mode then click on ground and place the ground here then connect that part to the this register like this so i have connected like this now the, from the middle part we have to connect the pin to the peak mind controller so just go to the terminal mode click on default pin just click on default pin and place the default pin here and once you place the default pin just connect that default pin to middle part of this uh, middle between register and the switch then after that you have to connect this default pin with the switch uh, with the uh, rb4 pin of your peak mind controller so here i will delete this i will show you how to connect this one so rb4 we require just go terminal mode default pin and rb4 you can connect like this 
and then connect this pin to the RB4. Then double click on this pin and give your name button. Then after that click on OK. Then after that just go to the switch pin here you can see double click here and also here you can give the name same name button. So this spelling exactly should be identical with that another spelling. So B capital here also check B capital. So like this uh, we completed the switch uh, part with the uh, my, pick my controller. Now what I will do I will give the square box here and I will give the name. So just go to the square box go to the pin and give the name like this. Square box here go to the A and then pin and enter and give your name switch. And then click OK or you can increase the size like this. Click OK and you can see switch name comes here just move like this. So in this way we complete the hardware connection that is LED uh, switch and my controller. Again I will run the code just, uh, just check whether our switch is working or not. So I will press this switch you can see switch is working LED is turning on. So hardware connection is completed. I again repeat if you want to connect LED with pick my controller please watch my this video in that video I have detailed explain how to connect the LED with pick my controller. Now we will see the importance of each and every line from the code. So first first of all you require this software MPLAB ID. So where you find the software and how to install that software I already explained in my this video. So this video is very important to watch if you don't have the software. So just open the software. So once you open software first of all you should download the code from my Google Drive link. So I will place, uh, place this complete folder LED plus switch folder in my Google Drive link. The Google Drive link given in the description. So first of all you have to download that complete folder then open the software then go to the file and open the click on open workspace. So once you click on workspace just select this workspace LED with switch. You will find this one inside this folder and click on open. So once you open you can see source file is attached already here and now we will see the importance of each and every line from the code. So first line is has to include pick f 4550 So whatever controller we are using that controller header file should be added here. Then after that some, some basic setting of pick my controller. Then after that you can see now next line is has define button is equal to rb4 now why this is defined here because we have to give the idea like where is the button is connected to the pick my controller so here you can see rb4 i have given here port b beats rb4 because in the hardware connection you can see we have used port b and from that port b we have used the rb4 pin that's why i have defined here button is nothing but the port b rb4 same led is nothing but the port c rb rc2 because in the hardware you can see LED is connected to port C RC2. So that's why I have defined here port C RC2 is nothing but the LED. Then some delay uh, function is there. Then after that main loop. So here first line is IT con. It is one register IT con. Uh, basically this register which activate the pull up register internal pull up register from the port B. So why we require pull up register because we have connected uh, the switch to that pull up register and if we don't if we don't activate the pull up register then this pick my controller assume that that pin is open and that pin is open means the continuously zero one signal is given to that pin but if we give the pull up register then actual signal after the pressing the switch that is given on this rb4 pin so that's why we have activate here the pull up register then after that trace b beats so basically trees register it is used to give the idea of pick my controller like whatever the pin like rc2 pin rb4 pin whatever the pin it is used what exactly purpose of that pin so basically when you open the controller so you can see here rc2 pin also used for multiple uh, purpose rb4 pin also used for multiple purpose so to give the exact which pin act as input which pin act as output that's why we have given here trace B. So if the trace B register and B4 because we are using B, B4 pin RB4 pin that's why here given R, uh, trace B4 as a 1. So 1 means 
that pin work as a input and trace C you can see trace C2 C2 means RC2 and that is 0 that means that RC1 pin sorry RC2 pin here act as a output pin so to define which pin act as input and which pin act as output we will use trace register then after that LED is 0 so LED here nothing but that port B beats RC2 pin and 0 means the peak my controller will send 0 signal on this pin and once we send the 0 signal on this pin then automatically this LED will turn off so initially to turn off the LED we have to send 0 signal on that LED then after that while one loop so inside while one loop first line is a button so a button means when this button is pressed here then this signal act as a 1 because the power is connected here and this signal act as a VCC pin so here we are checking the button is 1 or not so button means nothing but the RB4 pin so button in 1 that means the switch is pressed or not that is check here if button is 1 if the button is 1 that means switch is pressed then turn on the LED so to turn on the LED we have to send LED is equal to 1 and if we release the button then this button value is 0 then else part will be executed and LED will turn off by because LED is equal to 0 and then uh, there is some function delay function so this is the complete idea behind the code I hope you understand the each of every, every line of code now we will see how to run this ready made project now we will see how to run ready made project so you re, for, if you want my ready made project then you require protest 8.9 software so just right click here and then click on run as administrator then after that you can click on open project then go to my downloaded folder link so wherever i given the folder just go to that folder uh, so i have downloaded a folder from my google drive link this is the folder ready plus switch inside that folder you will find this proteus project click on open button so once you click on open button you can see ready made project will be available then open the mp lab software then just click on this build all button so once you click on this build all button then you will find this hex file path so copy this hex file path here copy this path and go to the proteus then double click on this uh, pick controller then click on this folder and paste that path so once you paste that path you will find hex file here then click on ok then after that save the project and just click on this run button so once you click on this run button project start working and if you press the switch like this then LED will turn on and if you release then LED will turn off so this is the complete idea behind this project I hope you understand. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and please click on like button.